Hey guys, Mike here. Look, I just wanted to talk to you guys today a little bit about being in business for yourself. Coming to you from Clearwater Beach, Florida today. A lot of you have reached out in the comments and asked about wanting to start your own business. And I know it's, it's a scary thought. So I just wanted to share with you a little bit about my decision to go into business for myself. And it, it wasn't easy. I was around 19 years old. Uh, I'd been doing concrete since I was about 15. And I was working, I was actually working, I was doing mostly commercial stuff, so big floors. And I was working for my girlfriend's father. And I had to go in and tell him, you know, he was like, he was like a second father to me. He was really, really good to me. But I did, I had a burning desire to be in business for myself. And I had a good friend of mine who was doing concrete foundations at the time, mostly residential stuff, who just kept telling me, you know, Mike, you should go into business for yourself. You should go into business for yourself. And probably if it wasn't for that guy keeping on me about it and giving me the confidence to do it, you know, I, I might have never done it. I might've just stayed working for that, that commercial guy. But, uh, it was the hardest decision I had to make up until that point. Anyway, I had to go in and, and give him his, my two weeks notice. And I was still dating his daughter too. And I mean, our relationship was really, really good, but the decision was hard. And unlike a lot of you, probably I was, I was pretty young. I didn't have a lot of responsibilities. You know, I didn't have a car payment. I didn't have a house payment. I didn't have kids. So in that aspect of that decision was pretty easy. But still, I mean, it was a, it was a big risk for me. It was a, it was a big, I didn't know anything about being in business for myself. Going from working for somebody for, you know, four and a half, five years, being told what time to be there in the morning, being told what I was going to be paid, to having to have all that responsibility myself, finding work, where's the next paycheck going to come from, you know? That was, that was what was scary to me, you know, was I going to have any work? And the guy, the guy that was doing the residential foundations, his name was Rick. He did tell me he would give me all his floors. So, I mean, that, that helped a lot. So, and he did 50 to a hundred foundations a year. So that was, that was quite a bit of work right there for a, you know, a 19 or 20 year old starting out on his own. But for you guys thinking about it, you know, and you're on the fence and you're not really sure what to do, I would just say start small, you know, start doing some stuff by yourself on the side. Maybe you already are. And maybe you're, maybe the hard decision for you is when to go full time. But I would say, you know, hey, make the leap, make the leap. You gotta, you don't wanna look back, you know, years down the road and say, geez, I wish I had. I would say make the leap, try it. You'll you'll make it work. If it's if you're cut out for it, you'll make it work. You'll make it happen one way or the other. For me, you know, I just have a burning desire to be successful. You know, something inside me won't let me fail. Um, not saying I've never done jobs that have failed, but it just me personally. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep persevering. I'm gonna keep pushing until I feel like I'm successful. And that's just me, that's my nature. That's my, that's in my DNA. And it's, it's what, it's anything I do. It's not just my work, but I wanna be the best at anything I do. So for those of you thinking about going into business for yourself, I mean, what is holding you back? Let us know down in the comments. What are the, what are, what's the one or two main things that's just holding you back? And, you know, you're, what are you telling yourself? Is it doubt? Is it money? Is it commitment? I mean, is it just afraid of not being able to get enough work? Just what is it that's holding you back? So we can all help you guys. We can all give you confidence and get you over the hump. The thing about finding work is, you know, there's, there's all kinds of work out there. It's just the hardest part is finding it, especially when you're brand new. But once you get, once you get that one connection, then they just keep adding up. The key for you is 
when you know when you're doing jobs for yourself, you got to do you got to do good work. You got to go beyond what you think um, is expected of you, and then it just snowballs from there. Once you start getting word of mouth advertising, you're gonna pick up another connection. I mean, that was one of the keys for me. Is you know, I got I got that one foundation guy. And that was, that was good. You know, I was kind of lucky in that sense that, you know, I, I met him at a young age. Um, we ended up becoming really good friends. And then I did his work for years and years and years until he retired. But it was, it was another connection that I got that really put me over the hump. And that connection was, I, you know, back when I started this, we didn't have cell phones like this to video on. We had, uh, Matter of fact, we didn't have any cell phones when I first started. The The first cell phone I had was a bag phone, if, and, and a lot of you might not even know what that is, but some of you will. So when I would put in my concrete orders, you know, I'd either have to call from either home or call from a pay phone or uh, actually go to the concrete plant and talk to the guy and put in the order there. And that's what I did a lot. So I became really good friends with the concrete batch man you know, where I got most of my concrete. And then what happened was eventually he he put in a good word for me with a with a really successful foundation company that did a lot, a lot of work. And it, that one connection right there, that one, and I still do floors for them today. I still do, I still do a hundred jobs for them to this day. And, that, and I first started doing work for them in about 1988. So that's been a really, that's been the best connection I've had. Really good people, they pay really good. They, you know, you just call, they call you up and say, I got this job here, this job here, every week. Every week there's jobs. And then they don't ask for prices. And you just go do it, you bill them and they pay you. So those, those are hard to find, those types of people to work for, but they're out there. And then from there, getting other work, you know, as you're on all those jobs, you're working for builders, you're working for general contractors, you're working for homeowners. Um, you just got to do the best job you can and that, and that's going to be every single day, nonstop. And then what happens is, you know, those people don't forget you. They call you back and they call you back and they call you back and they recommend you to friends and then everything just keeps going from there. And that's how you build your reputation. And once you build your reputation like that, then everybody eventually knows about you in your area. So it'll it'll happen. It just takes time. You know, sometimes sometimes you'll find that one guy right off the bat. You know, he may already have a concrete guy. Maybe his concrete guy is not doing very good work. He's sick and tired of him, and he's looking. You know, he's looking. You never know when they're looking for somebody else. So you've got to be ready for that opportunity when it shows up. And then you gotta you gotta perform, you gotta make it happen when it does, because you don't want to lose that chance. So, just a little hope for you guys out there wondering, you know, if you've already started on your own, you don't have much work, you know, just you gotta build those relationships in the business with everybody, the concrete drivers, you know, the concrete batchmen, uh, the testers, whoever you work with in your area, you got to build those relationships with. You got to ask them how they're doing. You got to ask them about their families, how their families are doing. You know, just show that you care about them and they'll care about you. So I hope that helps, guys. And I'm here to help you. Anything I can do, you know, down in the comments, just email, you can email me and let me know. I'll help you the best I can. But. I'm here for you. The other guys, the other guys in the community are here for you. So just let us know down in the comments what's holding you back, what you need the help with the most, and, and we'll we'll see if we can help you guys. And you guys that have been in business a long time, like now I've been in business for about 40 years. Let's help some of these other guys out that are trying to make that decision. You know, let let them know down in the comments what was what was the hardest thing for you when you went on was you working for somebody? And then you went on your own. Was it a family business? What helped you get over the hump of starting your own business? You know, let me know down in the comments. And then uh, let's help these other guys out because the more the more of us out there that are successful, 
the better off we're all going to be. So let's help these guys out and make this thing work for them. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.